If you're new to the game, I recommend this. Hello, and welcome back to another Northern Pokemon Openings. My name is Professor Joel, and today we have ourselves a storm, sorry, a soaring storm theme deck. Now, this was given to me by the shopkeep so I can help teach the kids at League how to play, and I was also able to trade for a Dragonite GX Full Art, which is a very pretty card. I actually really do like Dragonite, and uh, yeah. My little idea is I'm going to be building some theme decks at my league that anybody can just pick up. They're going to have some legendaries and some GXs and whatnot in it. And it'll just be like a little, uh, almost ready to go battle of every type of TCG color you get, you know. But anyways, we got ourselves this little theme deck here. I recommend, if you're a new player, to pick up a theme deck, okay? Usually they have a nice little uh, deck mechanic that is very useful for new players to learn how to play. And yeah, I recommend getting yourself a theme deck and trying to find yourself a... GX or some card that fits. Think of this as like the golden crown, and this would be the gem on top of it, okay? You do get yourself a Team Deck exclusive card in here. Taking a while to open this up, just sort of rip the front open. This is worth $15 to $20, depending on where you are. Comes with a, usually a nice little Shattered Holo promo, very nice. I really like Dragonite cards, so, you know, it's nice. Okay, pop that out, try not to damage it or anything. They, they leave it out inside the normal theme deck. There's 59 cards in here. There's this little pair, you know, a little hollow there. Okay. A theme deck. And like I said, it's going to be pretty simple. There's usually a, a few duds in here. You guys still some lightning energy, a Dragonite line, a couple of useful trainer cards. Chin Chow is not that crazy. Dragonite. Pokemon Communications is a very useful card. Helps you find the Pokemon cards that you would need. You just trade one Pokemon from your hand to one from your deck. Here's a Switch, very basic card. Cynthia, at one point, was a $6 card. These theme decks like to give you some good cards, like some things that would cost a few bucks. The Pidgeotto is actually a very good card. Airmail says, look at the top two cards of your deck, put one into your hand and the one, other one on the bottom of your deck. That can help you find what you need. You can also trick, uh, use it to do some tricks and do some control decks to lock out your opponent. You get what you need, and they won't get what they need. Hey, get back some energies, because Dragonite's attack is very expensive. We have a Thunderous, and I assume a, uh, the other one, where's the white one here? Tornadus. They have a little combo where the, if one of them's on the bench, they do more damage. Same for this one. Let's see, Raging Thunder does 120. This attack does 40 damage to each bench Pokemon. Okay, that's not the right one. Uh, Thunder, uh, Thunderous Gale, 20 damage. If Tornadus is on your bench, it does 50 more damage. That's pretty strong for 2 energy for 70. And let's look at that Tornadus for a second there. Uh, Tornadus, uh, sorry, Thunderous Tornado does 80 damage. If Thunderous is on your bench, this deck does 20 damage to each of your bench, your opponent's bench Pokemon. That is very good. Some spread damage it can help turn those giant numbers of 160 into, you know, 140, which is a lot easier for a knockout. For instance, Dragonite has a really strong attack here for 170, but you must discard free energy. Okay. Well, if there were GX Pokemon with 190 HP. Well, that could be the, the way to, you know, knock that Pokemon out. Some more Dragonite line. Some little fun cards. This is kind of a dead end. There's no evolution in it, but it does have a good attack. Collect for no energy. Draw two cards. That can help you set out. This is a card you'd want to have up front first, okay? More Pidgeotos. Some fun new little trainer mechanics, like draw two cards to the coin. If heads, draw two more. Another Pidgeot, sorry, a Pidgeotto to actually battle, but really... The Pidgeot is what you really want in this deck, because it's a very good control Pokemon. Okay, where is it again? This is the one you'd actually prefer to have on the bench. And then I guess after you're done, or you need to, to, to attack, you'd get it to its final stage. And you could be able to, let's see, Spinning Storm. Your opponent's active Pokemon puts their, sorry, puts their active Pokemon all cards into their hand. That's, uh, that can really reset them. This is a stage two. It has a couple cards to it, you need a bunch of energy. You can just reset that, that is very good. Okay, another Pokemon Communications, another Dragonite, and there should be one more Cynthia in here, I imagine. No, I must have went over it. I'm just gonna take a look at the back of the box for a quick second. They like to put sets of twos there. Yeah, two Cynthias, only one energy recycler system, but they also have a Fisherman to help you get back energy. The whole strategy of your deck usually comes onto one of these little cards. Uh, I believe this is just the one that tells you it's like checklist. Explaining you tag team Pokemon and various things, special rules for evolution. And like I said, you can get yourself a GX card and put it in the deck. Just take out one of the other cards, maybe a basic energy. Uh, for instance, it says special rules to GX Pokemon. They can evolve after Dragonite or, you know, sorry, after their stage one into whatever stage they need to be. So that's a good idea. And then you can also turn it into an interesting 
several prize game. For instance, you're down to your very last prize. They only have to take down one more, so they have to only take one more prize. They could easily attack this thing and win and, you know, eventually beat it. Or you can put them up against this guy instead. It would be two. That'd make a seven point game. Very good strategy to keep the game going a little longer. Okay. Also, when you find a Pokemon that come around the same time, these were both from the uh, Unified Mindset, uh, they kind of complement each other. This Dragonite has an ability, and it says, once during your turn, before you attack, you may search your deck, uh, sorry, you may attach a Water Energy and Electric Energy card from your hand uh, to one of your Pokemon in any way you like. That charges up this attack that requires you to discard a lot of energy. For instance, uh, you let's say you had an Energy on there uh, from last turn, use its ability to put another Lightning and Water Energy, and then all you'd have to do is add one more Energy card. You'd be able to use Dragon Impact for 170, but you'll have to discard free Energy cards. That's very steep, okay? But let's look at the Dragonite for a second there. It asks for one more energy, but they're all colorless, so you can pick any combination. And it says discard three energy cards from this Pokemon, but for 270. That's a lot more. It can actually knock out itself if it was going into a, another stage two EX GX card in there. Well, I guess GX card. Yeah, so very cool. They kind of help each other out. Plus, you're going to want to maybe have the option to use a GX attack. You guys saw mock, mock Delivery GX. You may discard any number of cards in your hand uh, until you have nine or fewer, and then draw until you have ten cards in your hand. Um, you wouldn't want to. You'd probably want a really low hand to actually use this card. Get you ten more options to play for next turn. Very useful. Okay, and also like that we see we have Dragon Claw here for 130 for free energies, and this one only has yeah, 170 for four, and you have to discard a lot. So I really recommend trying to find yourself a GX for the theme deck. There's usually a mechanic that goes with it. This one is that the Baby Dragonite, the non-GX one, charges up the uh, GX one. Okay, what else you get in here? A little mechanic to your deck. For the Dragonite, the idea is strike with a strong attack, recycle your energy, use this guy to get some more energy on the board in case you want to just reserve some energy, use Tornadus and Thunderous to hit each other, or hit while the, their friend is on the bench, do a little bit more damage, and Alolan Grimer just gets you a bit more cards per turn for your early setup thing. Get yourself a little bit of some damage counters. Uh, you don't either give you a GX counter, but if you didn't have a GX in the vanilla base deck, then you don't really need to use it. But if you were to add it, then you'd, you know, you attack, you flip it over, there you go. Bob's Jungle. You also got some poison counters, damage counters. I feel like it'd be nice if they had other numbers, like let's say, uh, you know, uh, 10 to 50, for instance, there, like maybe some more 50s, I don't know, 10, uh, you'd be sprinkling a lot of the small ones, you might run out of damage counters. You get yourself a playmat, very cool, can't really unfold it too well in this angle, but they teach you how to play on the back side, I really do recommend these for my new players, okay, teach you basically how to play the game, all the steps, and it ends up boiling down to about six things, six to eight things you can do in a turn, okay? The theme deck comes with a little deck box that can hold 60 cards. Not bad if you're starting out, but I always recommend eventually switching over to some sleeves. Like sure, you can play as is for a while, but you wouldn't want to scratch up your nice holo card from your theme deck, or if you were to add some really nice cards, like for instance this Dragonite GX, you're going to want to get yourself some sleeves. I recommend just picking one color and sticking with it. I went for the simple black from Ultra Pro, and all my good cards are sleeved up in the same black sleeves, so that way I can switch them out and make decks on the fly. If you do get yourself some sleeves, do note that it will double the size of your deck. Uh, basically, there's just two extra pieces of plastic in between each card, so yeah. And you're gonna need yourself a bigger deck box because there's no way we're gonna fit this in that. I ended up getting this one from the Pokemon Professorship Program. It's one of the little perks I get for hosting a league and running a league for everybody. And I just slip my cards right on in there. Keeps my cards nice and safe. Each theme deck comes with a code card. This unlocks the theme deck to be used on the Pokemon Train Card Game online game. Uh, as you can see here, there's a laptop playing the game. Most computers can run it, some tablets can run it. I'll be giving this code card away to someone in my Discord who I deem is a newer player. When it comes down to looking for cards that you might need to build up your online decks, you can use code cards from real life packs. These will unlock packs online and you can open them up and have a chance to pull something cool. So what you could do though is keep your packs sealed and use them to trade other people who might have already pulled the Dragonite GX. They have no interest in using the Dragonite GX, you might. So what you can do is you can trade, that way you get something to build into your deck. 
and they get two code cards to buy something else that they might want to use to build their decks with. And there we go, Professor Joel's tips for a starting player. Get yourself a theme deck, build up the main attraction, in this case Dragonite, Dragonair, and Dragtini, get a few more of each of those cards. Try to find yourself something that's very powerful that fits in really well in the deck. Get rid of a few dead end cards that aren't as useful, for instance this Lantern Rhine and this Alolan Grimer, they're okay but you could do a little better. And then to fit some of these cards in you could just remove a few of those, try to add a few more of the good cards, for instance Cynthia, shuffle your hand into your deck, draw a 6, very good supporter card. Try to find yourself some more Pokemon that can help you out, okay cool. Some cards that you find you might be lacking, this one only had one energy recycler system so maybe you could use another one if it's your deck. Uh, Pokemon Communications is another good one, just some other good supporters. And as always, thanks for watching my Northern Pokemon Opens. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, come check out the Discord. We're building up a bit of a gym league there. We could use some gym leaders, and uh, we're going to be doing some streams for the Sword and Shield games coming out soon. Well, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all next time. Peace! One more pro tip is check out your local Pokemon League. You can go to the Pokemon.com website slash... Pokemon event locator and find a league near you. At leagues we have many people who get together and just talk about all things Pokemon. We trade cards, have battles, have tournaments, and we get these awesome promo cards and code cards that we can give out to the people who come to the leagues on the weekends. So yeah, check out your local Pokemon league.